I'm back with another video and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to fix permanently your Joy-Cons for your Nintendo Switch. The joystick, if your joysticks are drifting, I'm going to show you in this video two, uh, two ways of repairing this. One is permanent and one is replacing it and you can't prevent it from happening again. So there are two ways of doing this one. It's going to be two parts of this video and i'm going to explain in detail why the uh, why do this happens and what are the defects of designing of these joysticks and how you can prevent this from happening in the future so let's go to the calibration in the console and we're going to test them one by one so let's go see this one it says this way up left There we go. So you see, I'm gonna move down and it by itself is just drifting going upward. I don't know if you guys can see it. I move down and it keeps going, it takes more forever. And then I move a little bit and by itself and it just keeps drifting because it's not stable. So we're gonna fix this issue. So you see, it takes forever. And if I move a little bit, the case, the joystick, I push a little bit here and it keeps going up and down. So it doesn't know what the hell it's doing. So this is this one. And uh, let's test the yellow one right here. So same thing with this one. Takes forever. You see, drifting right here. It takes like a really slow. Again, it's kind of stuck right there. So I'm gonna show you an easy fix for this one. So it's not even going to the center. So let's remove this one and do it. The tool that I'm gonna to be using is a screwdriver set. I'm gonna be using an iFix screwdriver set. We're gonna be using two bit double zero in a Phillips and a Y double zero. So what are you gonna do? First, you're gonna remove the screws at the back. There are four screws at the back of the Joy-Cons. So remove two of them. These are Y double zero. Okay, and we're gonna put it to one side. Now I'm gonna use that guitar pick and I'm gonna stick it right in between here and here. I'm just gonna open it up, twist it, and it's gonna open, be careful. There's a little tiny flex cable here. Just open it like that and put the opening to guitar pick under the battery and lift up the battery put the battery to one side switch to a phillips bed double zero uh, if i can hold it with one hand there we go we're gonna remove three screws one down here right by the battery connector one in the middle right there and one to the left side now, once we remove these ones in here, we can lift up this cover and we're gonna open it towards the left side gently. So remember there's a flex cable right in here for the clicks on the top side. Now we're gonna put it on the floor. Now there's your Joy-Con right there. The example of the Joy-Con joystick, it's right here. There's this one right over here, so you guys can see it. So there's a two screw holding it together so we can replace it, but that's not the case. If you want to fix it at home, grab yourself a cardboard box about one millimeter thick. I cut and these are a 14 millimeter by 14 millimeter thick almost. There's like a uh, 15 millimeters by 17. I'll say do 15 by 15. So, and the thickness, it's one millimeter thick, 0.8, but try to get a one millimeter thick cardboard box. You can cut it off from wherever you can. Let me see, I can cut it from this old hard drive case here. So I'm gonna cut it right through here. This one is like a double cage in here. And make sure the size of this one has to be the size of the, um, joystick right there so it's a little bit too big it has to be the size the size so we're gonna cut it out 
uh, who are doing credit to shop and we're gonna set it right there make sure you center it right nicely over once you have it in there oh, it moved so once you center it bring the connector directly over make sure it doesn't move you can put a little adhesive tape in there so it doesn't move around okay so once it's in there now we're going to put the screws on top and your solution is right there let me see if i can grab this screw joystick right on top and we're going to switch the bed and we're going to test that out and see how it improves again don't worry i'm going to explain the reason why all this is happening and why is this is a defect in a minute so let's put this screws right on top there we go so let's go ahead and test it out okay up left up right so right now you see it's not moving and i go left it goes quickly left i go right right away it snaps in in place not even a second goes by and it's done easy easy to do you can do this at home and this way it's going to last you much much longer time and you don't have to worry about it so it takes about one millimeter 1.5 millimeter cardboard box and the joysticks are fine and in the other one i'm going to show you guys how to replace it but in a second first let's go ahead and remove one of the joysticks and see why is that why does this happen so i'm going to remove joystick here and we're going to open it up tear it down and explain the reason for this drifting so we're going to remove these screws so if yours is damaged you want to replace it and prevent it from happening ever again replace it with a new joystick and then put the cardboard box on top and you will never have to worry about it ever again it can last you for many many years so to replace it remove the battery and all right now we're gonna lift up this side we're gonna bring it to the left now you can disconnect the battery by pulling it upward just disconnect it you just push down but we're going to replace it now we're going to remove you're going to grab a tweezer you're going to lift up this cover back lock here lift it up and slide the joystick outward we need to remove this flex cable is going over the screw so we need to unlock it right here and we need to slide it back okay now that we slide this cover backward now we can go ahead and remove the joystick there's a two screw holding it there we have it now you can simply just take it out there we have so there's your joystick right here okay you want to put new one in here just grab a new one but before putting it down i'm just going to slide down to this autoflex cable right to the jack
let's put this one in here so i need to slide this one underneath and then i'm going to lock it down push the joystick right through the hole Make sure this flex cable has to go over. There we go. The flex cable for the new generic ones are a little longer, but that doesn't make any difference. Grab a screw for the joystick. Push the, put one of the screws. Put the second screw. And there we have the second screw. Now we're gonna slide down the flex cable. All the way in and then push the lock over. And there we have it. So let's go ahead and put this trigger click here. There we have it. Now I'm going to go ahead and put down the battery. The battery has to go this way in. Do it with a plastic. Don't do it with a metal. You have to push it down. It will go to its place. It just snap on jack. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this trigger over. And bring the battery and place it right on top. Oh, I forgot the screws under the battery. You have to put the screws under the battery. Don't forget those. So you can do, this is how you replace it, but if you put a cardboard box right under that, it's gonna prevent it from happening again. But this is for clients, I'm not actually doing it because I don't have authorization to put a, a cardboard box, but I will highly recommend it if you wanna prevent it from happening ever again. So put the joystick, put the battery on top, and Lock it down, switch the bed. Now we're gonna test it, it's gonna work fine, but again, if you wanna replace it, this is how you replace it. But highly recommend you to put a put a piece of rubber or carton box, uh, cut a credit card probably. If the thickness is 1.5 millimeters, that's fine. I'll go one millimeter. Don't go too thick, otherwise it's not going to close down. So, let's place this one out. So you see, this is a brand new one. Even the brand new one I put in here, but the calibration for it, it stays in one place, always goes to one. So, it is not drifting, but this one is not calibrated. So I just click calibrate, calibrate, and it stays in there. So it goes back, down, left, up. So turn, uh, rotate the stick in a large circle two or three times. One, two, three. There we go. So look. Brand new is calibrated and there is no drifting into this one. But again, if you want it to last longer, so put a cardboard box in here. And now we're gonna open up this one and I'm gonna show you the reason that's why this is happening. To open it up, so if you look at it at the bottom, pretty much there's one screw hold from here and the screw holding it from here. And there's a rubber and there's a metal plate in here. So pretty much it's been held down like this. It's not even uh, held down properly. It's held down by the plastic, not even by the metal. 
So if you want to open it up, we have to open up the locks in here. So let me see if I can stick this one in here. I need something even sharper. So let's open it up sideways. And the reason this happens a lot because people usually press too hard on this one. They, they but there's a click in it too. People and they like uh, using the click a lot probably. By clicking too much, too much you're creating curvature on the bottom plate. So this bottom plate becomes kind of dome. It just separates itself, and that will uh, that will mess up the carbon uh, sliders right underneath. Let me get a flat screwdriver here. So once we remove this one, we're gonna see a whole bunch of stuff underneath. So there's those sliders. And there's a one spring. And the stuff. So there's one spring that holds it in together so it pushes in the middle. And right there, there is the click button that you press on top. And on the side in here, you guys can see on the side is that those two carbon things in here. This one's right there. So they have a little tiny sliders on top in here. So let me see if I can remove one of the sliders. There we go. So there's a slider right there, and there's a second slider right in here. So there are two sliders. So they have a little thing, so it detects uh, pretty much the rub against these cardboard, uh, carbons right in here, and goes left and right. But when there is a, enough curvature on the bottom plate, if the bottom plate is kind of curved, it, even by fraction of the millimeter is down, it's curved, and the, uh, the contact between them, they are not good, so it can detect actually where it's located. So again, the best thing is to pretty much give a nice support underneath here. So if this was really harder metal or had a better support on the casing, this will not ever happen. So the reason is not that because this is going bad. These things, they can last you six, seven, eight years, even under heavy use. They don't go bad pretty much. The only thing is the fault is, is in the design. So now you know if you want to repair yours, you can do it at home and this should last you many years. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to ask them in a video comment or try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, if you like this video, you know what to do. Click that like and subscribe to support the channel. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.